Okay, so hi and welcome to the next in this series of screencasts for programming for psychology and vision science. Uh, in this screencast we're going to be looking more at drawing and this time how we can use um, images that are saved in on disk. So the objective is what we want to cover this screencast is I want you to be able to display stimuli that are formed from images stored on files on disk. So you probably know that we can have image files like PNG or JPEG or, G or GIF that are stored in files and we want to be able to uh, load those and display them through our Python code. We're also going to cover a concept called transparency and we're going to look at this with images but it applies for a large range of, of stimuli and we're going to see what the implications of this um, transparency are. Finally, we're going to look at how we can actually create images. So how can we take screenshots of the stimulus window and save them to disk? Okay, so as usual, we're going to switch over to Spider, where we've got a, a blank window. Just resize it. Yep. Okay, so most of the vision science experiments that we do um, involve um, stimuli that are generated. So rather than loading um, images from disk and showing those, we tend to generate shapes or gradings or um, other types of patterns. But sometimes we do want to load things from disk and use those. So we can uh, do this in PsychoPy using something called image stim. So for example, we might want to draw the UNSW logo. So from the website, we've saved this file called unsw.png and if we open it in Windows um, Image Viewer, you can see that it's a, an image of the uh, UNSW logo. Okay, so our goal now is to try and draw this from within PsychoPy. So we start out as usual by importing our necessary functionality. Open our window. Okay, so with our window open, the next thing we want to do is to um, define our image stimulus. So let's call it img equals psychopi.visual.imageStim. So first we tell it our window. Now we want to tell it the image. So here we're going to use a string to say we want to use this image called unsw.png. So it's important that for image stim to know where this image is, it either has to be in the same directory as this Python file, or you have to here specify the complete uh, directory and, and location of the image. So in this case, we've saved the PNG in the same directory as our Python code, so it's just straightforward. We can just put the file name. Finally, we'll tell it the units. Okay, so as usual we need to draw it and flip in order to see something and we want to, if I can type, want to wait for a key press. Okay, so we created our image stim, we've drawn it, we've flipped, we're waiting for a key, let's have a look. Alright, so you can see in our Psychopo window now we've been able to load this image and display it just like we would any other sort of stimuli. Okay, so one thing we might want to do with an image is to show it in a different size. So what we want to do here is we're going to show it a larger size. So one thing to note is because we're loading this from a disk, as we increase the size we're going to have an in inevitable loss of quality. So how we actually increase the size gets a little bit complicated because we might not actually know the size in pixels of the image. We just want to, we just know that we want to scale its size. So we're going to use this property of image once we've created it called its size. So we can work out what the horizontal size of the image is by looking at its size and the first value in this list. Similarly size vertically dot size 1. Okay, so now when we want to resize it, we can do image dot size equals, this is going to be a two item list with the horizontal and vertical size. Do size x 
times 1.5 because we're going to increase it by 1.5 and we're going to do the same thing for the vertical okay so what we've done here is we've pulled out the um, native or the current size of the image both the horizontally and vertically we've then we've set the image size that we're going to show to be um, 1.5 times those sizes now if we save and run you'll see that the now the stimulus is is bigger like we wanted but we're starting to see some of that degraded quality the image is, is not quite as clear as what it was okay so we're going to move on to another topic now that is we're going to use it look at it in the context of images but it actually applies to a range of stimuli and this is the important concept of transparency and masking so what you might notice in the um, logo that we're showing here is that the um, the background of the logo seems to match the background of our window so it, it's grey uh, outside of these areas so when we looked at it in the um, picture viewer here you can see it's taken on the background of the current viewer so this is a, an example of uh, transparency in action so in the image file it's in addition to the uh, color information at each pixel it also has information about the visibility of that pixel so all these areas that were showing up as the background is because they would have an indicator in there that this pixel should be um, completely transparent and PsychoPy respects this uh, transparency and uses that when it draws the image so we can see this more clearly if we have a look at um, drawing the image after we've drawn a rectangle in the background so let's if you remember how to um, create a rectangle it's by um, the rect stimulus so let's have it 200 pixels by 100 pixels and we're going to move it down a little bit so down 50 pixels Let's just make sure that units are pixels and we'll make it white okay so we've made our rectangle so let's draw it all right so now if we save it and run this all right so you can see that we've got our uh, rectangle and over the top of it we've got our uh, logo so what's what's clear is that rather than the whole region of the logo overwriting the rectangle you can see that these transparent regions the uh, rectangle is able to be seen sort of behind these regions of the logo so this is, this is transparency so in addition to this sort of um, masking we can also set the overall transparency of a stimulus so this is known in, in PsychoPy as the opacity uh, parameter. So for example, let's set the transparency of our image to 50%. So we do this by setting the image.opacity to be 0.5. So the opacity goes between 0 and 1, where 0 is completely transparent and 1 is completely opaque. So let's have, save it and have a look at what the consequences of doing this are. Alright, so you can see how the, the logo now has kind of been blended in with the background. So this is the 50% this, uh, uh, transparency. Okay, so a final thing we're going to look at is a bit of a, a separate topic, but it's a useful thing to know. And this is how we can actually save um, images of our window. So how can we take a screenshot of um, what we've drawn mm. using uh, PsychoPy? So this can often be very useful it's it's a good way of uh, communicating to others exactly what our um, participants in our experiments were seeing if we can take a screenshot of of the stimuli so this is quite straightforward in psychopi it's a, a two-step process so we'll use it with this um, most recent stimulus we created so after we've flipped it so we've created we've shown a window that we want to save we issue the command win dot get movie frame so this command tells psychopi okay take a, a snapshot a representation of the window at this moment and and store it internally so psychopi now now knows about the state of the window what we want to do next is to tell it well can you uh, save that to disk 
So we use the function save movie frames and we give it a file name. So here we're going to call it UNSW logo blend example.png because that's the, um, the demo that we did uh, the corresponding to this code. So when we run this, everything will be drawn, the window will be flipped, we'll take a screenshot, we'll save the screenshot to this file, and then we'll finish up as usual. So if we save this and run it, as usual we've shown our stimulus, when we press a key to exit, now if we go and have a look in our directory, you can see that it's created this uh, file name here, UNSW logo blend example, and if we open it up in just a normal uh, picture viewer, you can see that it's recreated the, the window that we've, we've generated. Okay, so going back to our objectives, so we've looked at how we can uh, display stimuli formed from images stored on files on disk using this PsychoPy image stim. We've also had a look at this concept of transparency and masking and how it's important and has implications for how we draw stimuli in general. And finally, we looked at a bit of a, a side topic of, of how we can make uh, screenshots of the, the stimuli that we've drawn on the window. Okay, I'll see you in the next screencast.